Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And is guys, this Ferrari La Ferrari is the queen of garage queens, and that is because this was constructed all the way back in 2016. It was registered in 2018, and since then it has only raked in 14 kilometers on the odometer. This thing has literally been garage queened on a whole another level. This thing was most probably a lawn ornament or even a display piece in the owner's living room. And I mean, it's a goddamn La Ferrari on its own. One of only 4.99. It's a coupe, not the Porta. But nevertheless, it's a goddamn Ferrari La Ferrari, a V12 powered legend. Legendary hypercar. I mean, it is part of the whole eternity, of course, and one of the most legendary hypercars to ever exist of our era. As I said, part of the whole eternity. It's got Formula One tech in it, either kinetic energy recovery system or the curse system, and it's got a 6.3 liter naturally aspirated V12 up back with electrification, which churns out 963 horses to the rear wheel. So this thing is a proper V12 monster on its own, and V12s are legendary if you ask me. And of course, this is a goddamn one of 499 Ferrari La Ferrari. And only 14 kilometers on the odometer. This thing has, in fact, got a squeaky clean service record as well, although only driven at 14 kilometers. And it's got a beautiful Bianco Evos exterior with a Nero Alcantara interior with Rosso stitching, as well as custom Cavallino Rampante embroidered logos on the seat headrests, along with black painted 20-inch wheels and red calipers, as per the owner's custom specifications. And nevertheless, guys, as I said, only 14 kilometers on the odometer, but it's got a squeaky clean service record, and it has. A In fact, got the service records when it was serviced in December 2020, as well as June 2022, and of course, it also benefited from the fitment of a brand new hybrid battery in 2021, as well as a lithium type auxiliary battery in May 2022, as recommended by Ferrari themselves. And this thing was in fact certified by an official Ferrari dealer in November 2021 that it in fact had only nine kilometers on the odometer, and that increased to a mere 14 kilometers when it was catalogued. So this thing was a proper garage queen, and it's a goddamn La Ferrari. I mean, good sir, why? Why did you even buy it if you didn't even intend to drive it at all? And this thing was most probably pushed from into his house into the trailer and pushed furthermore throughout the service center as well. I mean, with only 14 kilometers, it hasn't even clocked in the running period. So this thing is up for the taking, and this is in fact being auctioned off by Aram Sadabis in Paris on 31st Jan of 2024. And this thing is expected to sell for between 3.7 to 4.8 million euros, and that equates to 4 million. To 5.2 million dollars. I mean, LaFerrari is on their own exchange for an average price of four and a half million dollars, and those will have at least a minimum of a couple hundred kilometers on average, of course. But this thing hasn't even clocked the goddamn running period. At least a couple hundred kilometers would have sufficed, good sir. Whoever the owner is right now, at least a couple hundred kilometers would have sufficed. You would have enjoyed the car. But he most probably bought it to flip it for a higher price, as he's doing right now. And just take my word for it, guys. Since this is basically a factory condition car, factory mileage, of course, nearly factory mileage, and this is most probably the most mint conditioned and well maintained La Ferrari on this planet. So this thing will definitely sell for over five million dollars. I mean, it's a beautiful La Ferrari on its own. Bianco Evas, Nero Alcantara interior, and custom specifications: black painted 20-inch wheels, red calipers. The Cavallino Rampante embroidered logos on the seat headrests, and of course, only 14 kilometers. Need I repeat that? Yes, I need to because this thing was properly garage queened on a whole another level. I mean, why did you even do it, sir? This is a proper V12 powered car. I mean, if I were you, I would be so goddamn out of sleep that I would want to just take this car out and just hear that V12 per 24/7, 365 days a year. And I am ready to show that. But nevertheless, guys. Wow, what do you guys think? I mean, 14 kilometers, not even clocked in the run-in period. A La Ferrari at that, only 4.99 built, V12 powered monster, one of the most legendary cars of all time. Anyways, I hope that whoever acquires this car actually drives this car because, good sir, this thing is in desperate need of driving. This thing has most probably hardly ever seen sunlight on its own. So, good sir, whoever you are, whoever acquires the car, please enjoy the car. Please take it out. Please drive it. Hear that V12 per. And just enjoy the experience. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Remember to hit that sub button and click the bell to ensure that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See ya.